In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do MailChimp Salesforce integration. And at the end, I'm gonna share with you a secret hack that marketers keep it to themselves to get their MailChimp emails always inbox while others end up in spam. So let's get started. First, you wanna head on to appexchange.salesforce.com to search for MailChimp. Then you click on MailChimp plugin and click on get it now. Next, you click on install in production. After checkboxing the agreements, you want to click on confirm and install. Here you want to select install for all users and click on install. Here you want to check grant access and click on continue. After waiting for a little bit, and now that it's been installing, you want to go back to your Salesforce dashboard. And in the app launcher, you want to search for MailChimp for Salesforce. Then you're going to be directed to MC Setup tab, where you click on Login and press on OK on the pop-up. And now you're going to log in to your MailChimp account. And now click on Login. Now you click on Allow. Next, to allow MailChimp to create leads in Salesforce, you want to check the box and click Next. Next, you have to map your Salesforce data fields to your MailChimp audience so that your MailChimp will sync information to the correct place. To map your fields, you have to check the drop down menu under Salesforce lead field and Salesforce contact field to match them to an existing MailChimp field. Beautiful. Now, if you have a contact or a lead field that doesn't match any of your existing MailChimp fields, you can choose to add a new field to your MailChimp audience under a new audience field. You'll just select the field type from the drop down menu and input a field name. If you want this field to be a required field within MailChimp, you have to check the box next to the field required and then you have to click add field. You can repeat this process as many times as you want and click on done and save to continue. Now here you can change any map settings at any time. Now all we gotta do is go to the settings tab and toggle on data sync and click on OK. And now my MailChimp audience will pass to Salesforce every hour, round the clock. Now, if you're gonna stop here and go back to sending emails from MailChimp, then you might as well forget about sending because more likely than not, they're gonna go to spam. Why? Because your email is as cold as a frozen pizza. No one wants it. So you have to warm it up by getting people to talk to you and you replying to them automatically by using warm-up services. And if before this was a nice to have, now it's a must have thanks to Google's 0.3% policy. Meaning that if only three out of a thousand mark you spam in MailChimp, then your email address is dead. If that happens, that is the end of your business because not only you lose your email domain, but also your ranking on Google. Unless you're using a warm-up service so that the moment it detects that you're surpassing the 0.3% ratio, it adds hundreds or however much emails to your email list contacts and gets them to talk back to you back and forth so that you end up never breaking the strict policy and you always dodge it to the inbox. Now to do that, you gotta go to automatedemailwarmup.com, enter your email address and hit go as it supports MailChimp email addresses as well. Now if you have any technical or non-technical questions or want to learn about anything, then hit the subscribe button so that we get notified to send you an email right away asking you about your question so that we can answer it.